With energy costs rising across the board, a South Jersey man is pitching an elemental solution, sunlight for hydrogen, the simplest element on Earth. Action News reporter John Rollins illuminates the possibilities. In this garage-style workshop, not far from Princeton, government types, executives and academics focus on Mike Strisky's every word. It splits the water off into hydrogen and oxygen. Strisky's interest is in the hydrogen. His firm, Renewable Energy, has figured out a way to, in effect, bottle sunshine. Solar power is used to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is stored in these tanks and, when needed, can produce electricity in this off-the-shelf fuel cell. This is as loud as the fuel cell gets. It's running now. So this is a lot quieter than most central air units that you already know. This system powers Strisky's entire home. Among those at this open house today, Philadelphia Councilman Curtis Jones, who says, with oil prices soaring, cities need to know about alternatives. These kinds of energy alternatives went from a novelty to a necessity overnight and over oil. Big auto companies, Honda, Mercedes, General Motors, are all seriously looking at hydrogen. This is a fuel cell-powered Chevy Equinox, one of a hundred being tested. Turn the key. No roar of an engine. Fill this car with solar hydrogen, and it would have a zero carbon footprint. How does it drive? It's extremely quiet. Uh, and yet there does seem to be plenty of pickup. The big hurdle for solar hydrogen, the cost of the hardware. Strisky's home-sized unit, a quarter of a million dollars. Proponents say costs will drop with mass production. And the jackpot? They say the cost of sunshine will always be free. In Hopewell, New Jersey, John Rollins, Channel 6 Action News.